Hello again, everyone. I'm Tom Dorado, and welcome once again to the Bob Simmons Show. Oklahoma State closed out the home portion of the 99 schedule this past weekend in impressive style. As the Cowboys ripped Kansas 45-13, we'll have all the highlights for you. It was the final Lewis Field appearance for 29 seniors, and we'll pay tribute to this special group of young men on the two-minute drill. And you'll hear from the fullbacks when Kevin Brown and Jeremy Halferty join us on our Get to Know the Cowboys segment. So you stay with us. We're back after this opening. Time out. The Bob Simmons Show is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company. Southwestern Bell, the exclusive. Well, welcome back to the show. Bob, congratulations to you and the Cowboys. Big effort there against Kansas, and this one had defense, special teams written all over it. Tommy had everything. Uh, you know, if, if, if I couldn't have scripted it, if you could script you away. You did script it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, we did script it, but uh, obviously very pleased for the seniors. Uh, to get that fourth victory, to go out uh, like that in front of our home fans. Uh, our kids were very focused all week and uh, uh, came out and really executed the game plan for the most part on both sides of the ball. I know we said this so many times. It is a thing of beauty when you get all three phases of the football game working together. That's what we had against right. Kansas. Well, we did. Uh, you know, when you, when you talk about uh, all three phases and the special teams, uh, you can see where I thought Russ did a good job uh, with, with the win, kicking the ball out. Uh, we start on defense, and you can see uh, Shepard does a nice job. Uh, that's their best receiver, one-on-one, -on -one, and we put him on, on their best receiver. And they, they come back and move the ball with, on an inside play to their big fullback. Uh, it is third and three, a key down. Uh, where our defense, when we talk about to get off the field, I heard the fans talking about third down. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I think that was TK that made a heck of a play. They were uh, one for 14 third downs, and they got that one third down conversion with about 30 seconds left in the game. Well, and that's important because uh, one for 14 tells you that our defense did an outstanding job. Uh, we really start in, I uh, think you said well, this is the third a, possession. The right. third possession, but you can see our fullbacks played a vital part in this ball game where uh, fullback Kevin Brown came in and picked up about four or five yards. Let me go back to a, a slide pass, uh, and I think that's a five. Let me go back inside. Jaden makes a nice cut here, and I really thought he was going to take this to the house. Uh, this guy had an angle on him and pulls him down at the two-yard line. I'm thinking automatic touchdown right now, so we go back inside. They get up in a stack defense, and we go back with Kevin. And this was uh, formation, which was really not set in the right formation. Right. Uh, but then Jay tries to bounce his outside. We end up with three, uh, and we had two chances uh, at, the, at the goal line. And that's something that we really got to try to just uh, address this week. When we're in that red zone, we got to come out with seven points. But we did come out with points. We go back on defense here, and uh, they get the ball back to their big fullback. And uh, this is a play that they've worked. They really try to read your defense. And if you're uh, going for the fullback, the quarterback, or pull it, uh, this is another key stop for us uh, on third down. You guys. see a bunch of those. Uh, well, you know, and I think that's Chris, that's Tyler yeah. making a play in the back, holding on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> to help arrive. To help, help, help arrive. But when help arrive, it, it, it arrives in groves. And, uh, as you can see, we called a timeout that, uh, just before uh, the quarter end so we can make him kick into the wind. And, and we had a block on one side and a return on the other. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is Chris Massey, the, the young freshman, said he, that when he came through that uh, he was surprised that, that he didn't get blocked. But we, we, we work on this technique. And you can see Chris does a nice job of taking the ball off his foot, just like we coached. Uh, Marcus is in the right place. Oh, you talk about the right place at the right time. <laughs> right time. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's seven points off of special teams, which really uh, help, helped in this ball game. And kind of a preview of things to come because yeah. special teams kind of got into it the rest of the way. Well, it did. And uh, our defense uh, go back out. And, and our, I thought our corners uh, really played an, an exceptional ball game for the most part all, all day long. And you can see we're, we're really getting pressure on Smith and making him make quick decisions. Uh, you can see our linebackers are all around. I think that's Yada, uh, and I think that's uh, T Terrell and Williams. And, you know, our defense played with a really upbeat tempo. We forced them back into a punting situation. I thought we were going to block that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is a, Terrence. He does a nice job of getting what he can. I think he picks up about 15 Another here. preview of things yeah, to come. Yeah, I think second half. But uh, our offense comes back out. We do a good job of, of setting up a play here uh, to uh, that Marcellus. We come back out with a slide here. Uh, again, that's, that's something that we really wanted to get Jay on the corner. This is key third and ten. Uh, the only thing that we really talked about doing is really throwing a route to the sticks mm -hmm. to really give us a chance to make a, uh, a first down. But we come up short. Uh, we asked uh, our kicker to pooch this, not kick it out of the end zone, but 
uh, when you got a leg like him that day did a good job. Here, here is where uh, we really got out of sync on defense because we should have dropped and covered that guy. Uh, and those are the th type of things we're really trying to get away from. Uh, and, and this is a guy you have to wrap. You, you got to tackle him. And you can't shy away from him because we had a couple missed tackles. He takes that down to about the two yard line. And here you see he, he runs to about two and three tackles. And we got to be better than that. Former tight end who probably likes this job a lot better well, than I guess he, he had does. before, huh? You know, give, put the ball in his hand. And, uh, th this is a really uh, a key throw here. Uh, we put it in a route where, where we get close to the sticks. We come up third and one or two and give the ball to Big Kevin. And you see he rambles for about five or six. Uh, we come back out running, I think it's third and two. Uh, and, and Tony just puts his head down and goes ahead and uh, gets the first down. Uh, we throw another slide pass. This is Terrence. Terrence had a, a heck of a day here. See him pick up about six or seven more yards. Uh, and then we go back here. Uh, to uh, this is a pass to Kevin. Kevin was doing it all yesterday here. Uh, I, I tell you what, he ran hard and he got the fourth and one. And uh, I really thought that was a poor spot, yeah. but we probably could have executed it a little bit better here. Uh, but but we give it up. Uh, we, we go on a blitz, uh, and we end up uh, with our strong safety, our free safety on their best receiver, uh, which is something that uh, as we watch film, uh, we didn't want to happen. Uh, you can see they they muffed the snap here. And so they get they come out with three points. So uh, we go into the half uh, down three uh, time, and we, and, we, and we just talk about just coming out playing. You know, we were talking before the show. Even in the first half, though, we moved the football. We got down there twice in point production zone, if you will. Came up short fourth and one, and had to kick it away. Right. It, it, it wasn't about panic because we really talked about. Man, we moved the ball this half. Uh -huh. Let's just finish it off. Let's just go out and win this ball game and play the way we're capable of playing. And, uh, you can see our defense came back out and and. Uh, because the first drive, we had to give it back to them. Uh, but it's, we got two and three guys around. Uh, they try to run an option play. And we're in better position this half uh, on defense than we were the first half because we got guys all around the ball. DK make a, 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 a nice stop there. Uh, we, we got pressure on him. He comes, and I think this is an overthrow. Mm -hmm. But you can see, I think this Alvin Porter, he is right around him. Now the fireworks start, I think. Yeah, uh, here we go. First uh, fireworks. Uh, here's off. the first first punt. A nice, nice decision. Good block by Porter. Got him to the corner, good block there. Uh, and now all we got to do is now let him finish it off. We got guys in the right position. Uh, and then you can see the second half, we're starting on their side of the 50. It was great field position. Uh, we go back to the inside play to Jay. He picks up about four. Uh, we go again to Jay on the left side. He picks up about six. Uh, so we're really moving the ball. We go back inside to Big Kevin. And he, he's running over the free safety, really running hard uh, and doing a good job here. Uh, we, we go with a uh, play that we've been practicing with our tight end. Uh, Garrick Stegg said he had never been in the end zone, so we decided to throw it to him for a touchdown. Lined up a tackle, they just turned Lined him loose. Lined up a tackle, and, and nice uh, de delivery by Tony. They Hold turned him loose. <laughs> All he's got to do is cross the goal line and hold on to it. But uh, that was a good call at that point in the ball game, and I didn't really know it made his, uh, his season. Uh, but <clears throat> the, the whole key to that is that we started out with a short field. Don't mind playing that short field now. Don't mind playing the short field at all. 17-13, uh, third quarter. Uh, things are about to happen here. Our defense comes back out. Uh, Jack should have made that sack, but he really forced a, a key throw. Uh, uh, a defense come back out, and uh, this is a nice stop. So you can see that's J.B. Flowers. Our seniors are really stepping up uh, and doing a good job. J.B.'s having a heck of a year for us at that safety position. Good tip uh, away. Good there, tip huh? away. Uh, I think this is third down, and, and uh, they're sprinting out. And this is smart. Uh, this is TK. He stayed at home which is, uh, that was his guy, he stayed at home, good stop. Uh, we, we forced a punt here. Uh, and again, this is uh, back to Terrence. Uh, he does a fantastic job of filling it, uh, making one guy miss, he has to do that. Uh, now he gets back to the wall, and now it's just a matter of really trying to get some people to escort him down the field. He makes a good cut there, uh, but uh, this is our third drive, but our third drive now starts on the nine yard line. You can see that's the OG&E power play of the game. OG&E proud again to bring you the OG&E greatest cowboy fan search. Log on for your chance to win big at www.oge.com. OG&E power at the speed of life. And he got, uh, you know, he was very, very uh, positive about these blocks that he received to set them up and get them to the wall. Obviously, you can't do that without help. No, he, you can't. He had a great day, and as we talked about it as a staff, uh, you can have a great punt returner, but he's got to have people that helped him. Uh, and you can, and, and he did that. Uh, we, we come back out with a play action down here on the 10-yard line. Uh, I like the way Kari fought for the ball. Tug of war uh, here. Tug of war, but he put his hands in the right position, took it away from the guy here, 
and scored. Uh, you know, that's two quick touchdowns. We're, we're, we're up 31-3, uh, to three and, and now the defense gets into it. You know, that's Kenyatta Wright. He does a great job uh, on the stunt of a, of a nine-yard loss here. He's, I think he's going to hurt himself. Uh, <laughs> but then they come back and snap it, and Kevin Williams uh, gets a gift. He's going to run the official over. Uh, but uh, that's good team celebration, which I don't mind that. Uh, I mean, the defense has really played hard, uh, and the ball in this particular game is bouncing our way. And, uh, that's, that's a good to touchdown. Now that's three quick scores, 31 to 13. Uh, we're, right, we're all in the third quarter. Three scores in the space of 239 to break the game open. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you're talking about the ball bouncing our way and guys making plays. There, there's Chris Tyler again, uh, and he had an exceptional ball game as a defensive lineman. Uh, and so everybody's making a contribution. Uh, that's a big hit by, uh, by Jack. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's staying at home. The guy comes across, you catch it, let's make you pay the price. Uh, and he really did a good job. Fourth and three, uh, we need to stop to stop this drive. Uh, and I think that's uh, Sean Berry tips the ball up. Good stop. We go back inside. I think this is Jeremy Halford. He gets into the act. He's running over people. And so our fullbacks as a whole really did a nice job. Uh, we put uh, uh, who's that was Reggie. Oh, Reggie, Reggie White's in the game, and he makes a really tough outside run. He, gets, he really gets hit on that play, comes back. Uh, we go back over the top to Terrence Richardson uh, for a key catch here. Uh, and so our offense is doing a good job. And this is a play we talked about. Uh, Cameron White was a former quarterback and uh, you know we've been running that play the whole ball game. They've been, been sucking well, up. Well, they've been on this They've one. been on it. And, uh, nice block uh, by the, our tight end there. And he just, nice flip right over the top. You just gotta catch it, right on in and score. <laughs> we like those. We've had a couple of those in the last few games, too, where you, all you had to do is wait for it and wait catch it. Wait for it to come down. And that's a good score. So, uh, uh, you know, the, the game right now is in balance. It's a nice sack by Jack. Uh, uh, this shot of picks it up, almost gets in, comes up short. We go back inside with Nathan. Good cut inside, goes over the top uh, for a touchdown. Uh, I think that's 45. And really, at that point in time, the, the game is uh, not in doubt. It's over with. Uh, and then just talking to their coach, we can congratulate one another and uh, good ball game. I think the satisfying part about this game, as you looked at the tape the next day, was the fact that so many people contributed to this win. Well, it, so many people uh, did that. And at the same time, it allowed us to really play a lot of people when you get in a game like that. We haven't had many like that, uh, but it really allows a lot of kids to play and a lot of kids uh, go away from the game feeling good. Yeah, it was good to see those kids happy yeah. again, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, every senior class is unique. These young men all leave a legacy behind, and this group is no different. They made their final home appearance this past weekend and turned it into a moment they will never forget. On this week's Two Minute Drill, we take another look at a very special group of student athletes, and as usual, it's brought to you by the American Residential Group. Crush. 
Special time, Tom. Uh, you know, when you, when you see those seniors walk across, and obviously you, you wonder where have the time gone. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have been a, they have meant a lot to the program, and just to see their families uh, to be a part of this uh, last walk uh, for them in Louisville. Just to see your reaction while you were watching that, that's what coaching is all about. Yeah, right? it is. It is. We talked about the <coughs> fullbacks having a big day against Kansas. Are you going to meet them? Jeremy Halford and Kevin Brown when we come back. This Get to Know the Cowboys segment is brought to you by Ron Rakes and the team at Home National Bank, 324 South Duck in Stillwater. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Jeremy. And we're, we're the, the fullbacks. Full Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. <laughs> they are the fullbacks. <laughs> they are the fullbacks. And you saw the fullbacks <laughs> right. in the highlights, so I can attest to the fact that they are the fullbacks. Well, and I tell you, Tom, they both did an outstanding job. Uh, yesterday you know, and they have an unselfish uh, position uh, because we asked our fullbacks to, to do a lot in the offense not only be blockers uh, so sometimes carry the ball and, and uh, those guys really really do a good job. Had to be a big day for both of you guys and we'll start with Kevin first. Last go around we talked about that on the post game radio show. Well it was a uh, me and Jeremy worked hard in practice and you know we just uh, encouraged the linemen to work hard and to, you know open up those holes and they opened the holes for us and you know, me and Jeremy just hit them hard and we tried to get what we could. You like those big holes. You almost oh, split definitely. those two guys that one time. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> I worked on that practice this week. But um, uh, our linemen did really did a good job for us this week. Opened us some big holes against uh, KU's defensive front. And that uh, did well to carry on the next week. I would think fullbacks appreciate that. Maybe just a little bit more than others because you got to move guys out of the way for other people too. So you know what those linemen are doing for the backs. Yeah, some people say fullbacks are just uh, well, uh, blockers. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, but uh, except, except for the I fact that we do get the ball on occasion. Well, you, you oh, do, we appreciate uh, that as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you give them the ball yeah, more. I think that was a clue. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, they deserve it. But uh, it's an important position. I know uh, uh, when uh, when Kevin came, he was one of the first guys uh, that called me and said that he was coming to Oklahoma mm -hmm. State, and then Jeremy. Uh, walked on to the program and did an outstanding job. So uh, they both walked two different paths, uh, but both those guys are very important to the program. You know, as fullbacks, as we get ready to wrap this up, you got to have a special mentality. It is de definitely the team mentality right there because more times than not, you're doing things to make others successful. When you make others successful, the whole unit successful. Right. Well, uh, you know, our biggest part of the job was blocking for the tailbacks. So, you know, that is a big part. But, um, and, you know, anything, any, any chance we get to uh, be a part. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> anytime you get, you agree with that, Kevin? Anytime you get a chance. Uh, you yeah, know. Any, anytime we get a chance. You know, we take pride in blocking for Tony. And, you know, we know any big play that we're a part of is because, you know, it's a team effort. And, you know, me and the Halford was in there and helping out with that uh, blocking. They try to call us linemen in the backfield sometimes. But, <laughs> you know, we don't mind. We like blocking. But it, it's a unique position, and uh, uh, when, when people look at the next level uh, for uh, fullbacks, uh, they look for a whole different mentality, and both these guys have that mentality. Well, we appreciate what you've done at Oklahoma State. Had a big day against Kansas. We've got a couple more games still left, so let's get those. Right. We'll be back to wrap it all up after this final timeout. This week's question from oakstate.com is presented by Southwestern Bell. If you have a question for Bob Simmons, log on to OSU's official athletic website at oakstate.com and participate in the Southwestern Bell Ask Coach Simmons contest. Well, very apropos at this time of the year, question about recruiting. Uh, what, what our needs are, huh? That's correct. Uh, you know, uh, just briefly, when you look at the uh, defensive side, is, you know, our linebackers, we've got five mm -hmm. and six guys we're going to lose and, and inside people. 
and, and secondary backs because our two safeties are going to go. And offensively, offensive line is going to be a need, as well as uh, our running backs, uh, tailbacks, the wide receivers. So and basically I'm saying all positions. All, all positions. <laughs> all positions. You know, I think as we look ahead to Baylor here quickly, I think the common denominator in the locker room after Kansas was, hey, the season's not over, folks. We're no. still going. You're right. It, it's not over, and we got to take one at a time. And Baylor right now is our focus. Uh, you know, we enjoy this Kansas visit for a short moment. Uh, and we immediately get into Baylor because uh, that's the, the next win we need to continue uh, towards getting six. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. For Bob Simmons, our entire crew here at Educational Television Services, Tom Dorado. Goodbye, everybody.